play. The Bulls have won three, and they can play the Eliminator tonight. Live from the United Center in Chicago, it's game five of this best of seven series as the Chicago Bulls meet the New York Knicks. And hello again, everyone. I'm Steve Casho. Welcome to game time at Chicago Bulls playoff basketball here on Sports Channel. Well, you know, it's been a heck of a series thus far, and we expect another great ball game tonight as the Bulls try and advance to the Eastern Conference Finals for the first time in three years. And the honors just keep on coming for the Chicago Bulls. Today, Tony Kukoc receives the NBA's sixth man award. He's the first Bulls player to be given the award in the history of the franchise. And unfortunately, while Tony is here tonight, he will not play as he continues to suffer from an injured back. And with us, as always, former Bull and four-time NBA All-Star Norm Van Leeuwen. I want to ask you, Norm, four games, the Bulls lead three games to one. What have you learned in the series thus far? Well, one thing for certain about this game, that it's going to be tough, it's going to be physical, and normally close. At the same time, I think the Bulls, with their experience of getting a little offensive surge when they really need it, not that often, but when they need it, they've come uh, on top in the three of the four games. Is this too much, uh, too much of a lead for the Knicks to overcome? Is it too insurmountable, do you think? I mean, the Knicks would have to beat the Bulls three times in the next six days in order to eliminate them. Can that can that happen? Well, all things are possible. That's why you play the game. But at the same time, I can't think of a team in this league that can beat the Bulls three straight games without any serious injury or someone in the personnel department being hurt. So I tell you right now, the Bulls, uh, you know, they're in command. They just have to go out and do the job. And it's going to be awfully tough, in my opinion, for New York to beat them three straight basketball. Let's hope they get it done tonight. Now, time